this video, you will learn the basics of quiz settings in the quiz creation process. To begin, open the Quizzes Index page. Next, click the Add Quiz button. With the Settings tab selected, enter the name of your quiz in the Quiz Title field. Note that the default quiz title is Unnamed Quiz unless you change it. Then, in the Rich Content Editor, add directions for your quiz using formatted text, images, video, or even sample equations. You can also use the Media Comment tool to record an introduction to the quiz. Below the Rich Content Editor, you will see a variety of settings for your quiz. First, select the quiz type. A practice quiz can be used as a learning tool to help assess student learning without assigning a score or points in the gradebook. A graded quiz is the most commonly used quiz type. Canvas automatically creates a column in the gradebook for any graded quizzes you build. After a student takes a graded quiz, certain question types will be automatically graded while others, such as essay questions, will be available for manual grading. A graded survey will allow the instructor to award a set amount of points to students who complete the survey. Graded surveys also have the option to be anonymous. An ungraded survey allows you to get opinions or other information from your students, but they are not given a grade for answering. Ungraded surveys also have the option to be anonymous. Next, you may want to add the quiz to an assignment group. You can then choose to randomly shuffle the answers for each quiz question by clicking the Shuffle Answers checkbox. Next, to set a time limit for the quiz, click the Time Limit checkbox and enter the number of minutes students will have to complete the quiz. You can also set a maximum number of attempts that students will have to take the quiz by clicking the Allow Multiple Attempts checkbox. If you want to set a certain number of attempts, check the Allowed Attempts box and enter a number. Otherwise, your students will be allowed an unlimited number of attempts indicated by the dashes in the field. With this option selected, you will need to select which score to keep. You can choose to keep the highest score, the latest score, or the average score. By default, quizzes will let students see their quiz responses and see which answers were correct. If you do not want students to see their quiz responses, you will have to uncheck these boxes. Please note, if your Canvas admin has restricted students from viewing quiz questions after the course ends, these options will not be available. If you allow at least two quiz attempts and allow students to see their quiz responses, the only once after each attempt checkbox will appear. Please note that if you allow more than one attempt on a quiz, not all students may complete all attempts and therefore may never see their quiz responses. If you let students see their quiz responses, you can control when and for how long students can see the correct answers to their quiz submissions. To show answers immediately after they submit a quiz, leave the Show Correct Answers At and hide correct answers at fields blank. To show or hide after a specific date, set a date and time in the respective fields. To create a time frame for when correct answers will be available, set a date and time in the show and hide fields. Next, you have the option to show one question at a time by clicking the show one question at a time checkbox. With this option selected, you will also be given the option to lock questions after answering. This means that students will not be able to return to a previous question once it has been answered. There are two options for restricting quizzes. Click the Require an Access Code checkbox to restrict the quiz by requiring a password before the quiz can be started. Or, you can click the Filter IP Addresses checkbox to require students to take a quiz using a specified IP address or range of IP addresses. And last of all, you have the option to assign multiple or varied due dates. This allows you to assign different due dates to various sections of your course. Please note, however, that sections need to be created before adding varied due dates. To add the varied due dates, select a section from the Assign to drop-down menu and enter the due date and availability dates. Then, click the Add button to add additional due dates for the other sections, or for everyone else. 
When you are finished, make sure you click Save to ensure you don't lose any changes. If you don't assign the quiz to everyone, you will see a warning message reminding you to include all sections. You can click the Continue button if you don't want to include other sections, or click the Go Back button to go back and add additional sections. Once you have saved the quiz settings, the next step is to begin adding questions. For more on that process, please watch the video tutorial on Quiz Creation Questions. You've now completed this tutorial video on quiz settings. For additional information on this or any other topic about Canvas, just visit guides.canvaslms.com. You can also ask questions and engage with other Canvas users by visiting community.canvaslms.com.